Hey guys, it's me, the American, and today I have the SCHF 43, also known as the Jessica X. This is a Chris Tanner design blade for outdoorsmen and survivalists alike. The Jessica X features 9 inches of 1070 carbon steel, has a TPE or thermoplastic elastomer handle, is full tang, and is made in China. The Jessica X is 0.164 inches thick, or for our European friends across the pond, it is around 4.15 millimeters. Well, what have we found here? It says, let's go ahead and read it real quick. California Proposition 65 warning. This product can expose you to chemicals known to the state of California to cause cancer and reproductive toxicity. Well, so this knife is actually dangerous. It's so dangerous that when you use it, it exposes you to lethal chemicals. Just a little side note to remember there. Now that I know that Jessica X can cause reproductive harm, remember, safety first, my friends. Definitely wear gloves. There we go. Gotta be real careful we don't get those toxic chemicals on us. All right. Let's go ahead and see how sharp Jessica actually is. Are you pretty sharp or are you pretty slow? Not really sure. Well, we're here to find out. Safety first, you don't want that toxic chemicals in your eyeballs. Probably fry them right out. There we go, pretty sharp. It's a little hard to cut on paper with such a huge blade. I mean, this, this blade is pretty large. But I'll tell you what, it's actually razor sharp from the factory. Wow, not too shabby. It seems that Jessica is pretty sharp, so let's go ahead and see how easy it is to make tinder for the fire. Now remember, safety first my friends. You definitely don't want uh, toxic tinder chips in the eye. That's a double whammy, really bad. Wow. For a large blade, it actually makes tinder pretty quick. Next up, we have the chopping test. Can the Jessica X efficiently chop through an industrial 2x4 donated to us from our friends on the north, the Canadians? Believe me, they make some of the strongest uh, 2x4s in the world, and I'll tell you what, yellow pine, yeah, it's a little tough. It's kind of hard to get through. I'm pretty sure that this 9-inch blade will handle it no problem. Now remember, Safety first, my friends, as chips will fly. I'll be striking here. Wow, <laughs> look at the power generated from the Jessica X. Definitely, she's got plenty of bite on her. I mean, look at what it did here. That's crazy. Well, Jessica has a pretty good judo chop. I mean, definitely chop that board clean in half. Let's go ahead and move on to the tip test. I'll be penetrating this tip into the two x four and I'll be moving the blade back and forth five times to see if the tip can withstand the pressure. Now remember, Safety first, my friends. I'll be stabbing here. One, two, three, four, 
and five. Definitely <laughs> made a huge gaping hole in that two by four. Well, the Jessica X passed phase one with ease. I mean, she just blew right past all those tests. I mean, didn't even stop for a second. I mean, it was pretty awesome to see that two by four just split in half. That was pretty awesome. So let's get this baby two by four out of here. I mean, we don't even need that here. Let's get that out of here. Step it up a notch to phase two. We'll start with the edge retention test. I'll be striking the edge here on this concrete, heavyweight concrete block. After I strike this concrete block, I will cut into a lime rind, which lime rinds are pretty tough. Let me get out of my pocket there. Now remember, safety first. Do not try this at home, my friends. The edge could fly off and explode. I mean, definitely seen crazier things with other charades during this test. By the way, I think I think Jessica got an A plus on that last test. Really great. Alrighty, here we go. Be striking here. There, we struck right here. Wow. Would you look at that? A really, really clean cut. I'm very surprised. And on top of that, I don't see much damage to the blade edge itself. Now the edge did not come out unscathed. There was some small damage here and here where the edge folded over. Typical of a lower end carbon steel. And on the other side, you can just see some minor damage, but did not compromise the blade. So we're gonna keep on testing. Next up, we have the brick test. Very controversial test, believe me. I mean, <laughs> a lot of people on my channel, um, they love this test. I mean, they say, Mayor Fucking Cool, it's great, it's awesome. Now, a couple of people, they don't have the same idea. They say, oh, why are you hitting my favorite knife on a brick? Well, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna keep doing it. That's not something I'm not gonna change in my test. And the naysayers can say it all they want, but I'll tell you what, a strong knife will pass. Only the strong survive. And Jessica seems to be pretty strong so far. So let's go ahead and see if she can handle this brick test. Now remember, safety first, my friends. Very dangerous test. Lots of bad things have gone wrong during the brick test. The brick test has defeated many knife opponents. It's kind of hard to get a good grip on this because of that angled grip design for, you know, spine wax, but let's try it out. We'll say it does flop around in the hand quite a bit, but let's keep going. Wow, well, there you have it. Jessica X is definitely strong enough to defeat the knife's long life enemy. Well, let's get these baby bricks out of here. I mean, don't even need them in here anymore. Let's step it up a notch to the bigger brother, the industrial cinder block. Well, Jessica's really got it cut out for her, but I'll tell you what, she seems like a survivor so far. In a zombie apocalypse, I'm pretty sure that Jessica would definitely be able to watch her back. Now remember, safety first, my friends. And hopefully I can get a good grip on this. Now for spine wax, I really don't like the grip angle. It's kind of awkward, but the show must go on. Come on, Jessica, show your muscles. Come on, you got to work out. There you go, come on. Hit it harder. Mm. 
maximum destruction. Now, the Jessica X was definitely able to plow through that. I mean, 100%. Just boom, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. I mean, it just completely destroyed the whole thing. Didn't even give me a chance to do hammer blows. That's one of my favorite things. So, I have a piece that was not finished off in one of my last tests. Safety first, my friends. Don't try this at home. You might get really seriously injured. And since Jessica is full tang, let's go ahead and see if she can break through. Wow, <laughs> that's really solid. With Jessica's explosive hidden power, she was able to plow through. I mean, it was just amazing to see it. <laughs> Lots of power, definitely, and I'll tell you what, we'll see how she does in phase three. Let's go ahead and get these baby cinder blocks out of the way, and let's start phase three with the penetration test. Metal on metal penetration. I'll be striking the tip into this ammo can and see how effortless it actually is to penetrate it. These ammo cans are GI spec, used all the way around the world for hauling ammo in the worst environments possible, pretty much. So, remember, as always, safety first, my friends. You don't want to get shrapnel in the eye, that's for sure. And don't try this at home. I'll be striking here. Wow. Would you look at that. I think this calls for the definite age old saying, maximum penetration. Now the tip is in great shape. It still catches on my finger and it's still quite sharp. I'm pretty amazed. Of course, the tip angle itself is actually kind of wide. And I'll tell you what, it creates a very strong tip. It's not as pointy as most survival knives or other knives in its class, but I'll tell you what, it keeps a very good point. Now, the finish did get scratched off quite a bit. This was from the cinder block earlier. And the edge still feels pretty sharp, even after having all that friction on the metal. Next on our list of fugly cool fun, we will have the standing test. I'll be hammering the Jessica X into this 4x6 and I'll be standing on it with all of Mary Fugly Cool's weight. I'll tell you what, uh, a knife before has broken during this test so it's actually pretty harsh. I mean you're gonna have the you know all the metal will vibrate from this little mini sledge here while I'm pounding it in and that can cause fractures. On top of that of course the blade, the, the weight on the blade can also be a determining factor if it passes or fails. So as always, safety first, my friends. You really don't want to try this one at home. <laughs> it's a little awkward to pound this one in with a, with a grip being like this. So let's go ahead and see if we can get a good pounding angle on it. I'll go in about two inches. I think that's as far as it wants to go. I would say that's about a good inch and a quarter, inch and a half. Let's see if it holds up. Wow. No distortion whatsoever. As straight as an arrow. And I'll tell you what, it seems that Jessica can stand straight on both of her feet. For the last test, we have the pull-up test. The mayor will be using all of his weight on Jessica and seeing if she's gonna break in half or stay together during pull-ups. Now, remember, only trained mayor fugly cool professionals are allowed to work out with Jessica. Believe me, if you're not a trained Mary Fugly Cool professional such as myself, uh, you will definitely get her. Jessica will mess you up. Safety first, my friends. Don't try this at home. All right, here we go. 
gonna start working out. Come on. One pull up, two pull up, three pull ups, four pull up, and five pull ups. Two Jessica X pull ups, three Jessica X pull ups, four Jessica X pull ups, and five Jessica X pull ups. As a bonus, I went ahead and took off the handles to see what the full tang was all about. And I'll tell you what, this is a very good example of what full tang should be. Well, there you have it guys and gals. Jessica has passed the Marifugli Cool Challenge with flying colors. At first, I didn't really want to like it. It's a shade made in China, uh, you know. Um, and <laughs> before I have had a shade break on my channel, but this goes to show that not all blades made in China are that bad. Great design. Handle, the large handle, you can either choke up on the blade for finer work or let it loose a little bit for extra chopping ability. You saw how, how well this can chop. Definitely, this blade is meant for chopping. I mean, really great design. Chris Channer of Prepared My 101 Plus One. Now he actually des designed this as a uh, his version of a Becker BK7, BK9. And well, it shows that it's actually a pretty good design. Now remember, if you like the Mirror Cool channel, plus one, thumbs up. When you thumbs up my videos, they go straight to the top and a lot more of your friends can check them out and see how cool the mayor actually is. If you didn't like this video, thumbs down. Say, oh, you abused Jessica, domestic violence, I'm calling the police. Okay, well, go right ahead. I mean, <laughs> my channel is pretty destructive and uh, pretty crazy. But I'll tell you what, not too many people can handle that. And I'll tell you what, if... You really want to see more stuff? Leave a comment in the comment box below. Tell me what you want me to review. Say, Mayor Fuck I want you to review this knife. This is how I was able to review this blade in particular. A lot of my subscribers, just, 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 Jessica X. Jessica X, Jessica X. That's all that I heard for like a couple of months straight. And I'll tell you what it shows because I was able to actually get around to it. Now, if you want me to change something up on my test, Leave a comment, tell me what you think I need to be changed or you know what needs to happen. And uh, if you curse at me or any vulgar language, it'll probably get removed. So just warning you in advance. Now, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. When you subscribe to Mayor Cool Channel, you get all this cool, crazy, you know, sha 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 knife action directly to your tablet, PDA, Blackberry, smartphone, computer, TV, anywhere that has a media outlet or that can plug into the wall, you know, anything with a screen pretty much these days, we'll be showing the Mayor Fogel channel if you subscribe today. Well, as always guys, remember that I, I test this stuff right here, so you don't have to. That's the Mayor, thanks for watching.